Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to this video tutorial for the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Action Suite. In this tutorial, I'm going to be editing this sweet little image by Anna Brandt. I'm diving right in to use the actions. Um, if you are unsure at any point how to use these actions, how to install exactly what's included, please do watch the overview video, video one, because this one I go through every detail of every single action that's included. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to assume you've already watched that or you have a, um, a familiar handle with LSP actions and how they work. The mix of um, overlays um, and brush layers. So let's get started. Let's dive in right away. This image is already beautifully balanced. So the image balance um, instant fix kit, maybe perhaps turn these lights up a little bit there, play with the opacity attach, and I'm going to use Magic Baby Balancer just to balance out those tones and the shadows and the highlights a little bit more. It's done it all for me. So I can simply turn this down or up um, as required. Next into the multi-layer baby bases, I'm going to miss those for this image, but if you wanted to do a quick soft proof, you can use the Baby Quick Fix. And if you wanted to dive straight in with a quick done for you um, skin selection of layers, you can dive into that one. The lighting brushes here, don't really need to use much light um, brushes on this one because the light is already beautifully balanced but I'm going to use the light shallows, shadows and balance the highlights to bring some um, just to bring some light back into the darker shadows here on the hair so you can see there before and after just balancing everything out a little bit more also may add the subtle contrast brush just to bring some contrast into this areas here now when your image is balanced already, you may need to do more work using these sections. That's what they're here for, these actions. Don't be alarmed that all these actions are here to literally to help you if you need to balance your image more than perhaps this image is here. So if you didn't quite nail it in camera, if your exposure wasn't quite there or baby um, was very purple or very wet or anything like that, you can use this section and the lighting brushes here. Now into the skin retouch. This baby has some pretty average newborn skin here. I'd say it's not too bad. It's not perfect. Um, of course, every baby is perfect, but the skin sheds peels and flakes quite often on the day of the photo session. Um, and it's our job to remove anything temporary, not birthmarks, anything like that. Anything that's going to be gone tomorrow, we're going to kind of want to get rid of. You have little flakes vanish, newborn skin pro gentle. Newborn Skin Pro Perfection I'm going to use for this one. This is the Goldilocks action. This one is right down the middle. If the skin's not too bad, not too great, use this action and it will get rid of most flakes and spots. If anything is particularly large, like that one there, right in the middle of the forehead, um, that one is just going to get minimised, but that's okay. I'll show you how to remove that. But as for everything else, this action set really has it covered. Don't go over the eyelashes or details like I've just done. If you do, switch to a black brush and just paint them back in. Black means show and white means hide. Nothing is final with these. You can use black and white um, to show or hide this effect of removing the skin flakes, um, skin blemishes, anything like that until you're happy. So you can see I'm literally just brushing this over any areas um, with flaky bits that I wish to remove. There's a spot there on the nose. So this is just really cleaning up the skin there. And it's leaving the natural quality and tone of the skin um, intact. It retains that skin integrity. So you don't need to worry about baby looking plastic or overly smoothed, which is really a very dated way of editing newborn skin now. You want it to look realistic, just exactly as it is, but minus any temporary blemishes, um, any bruises, any scratches any red um, sections where baby may have accidentally bumped or scratched themselves, you know, wounds from delivery, anything like that. Obviously, baby has been suspended in fluid for nine months. By about one to two weeks, the skin does start um, temporarily having a reaction to the outside world. And as photographers, as professionals, we can remove that uh, naturally without causing any degradation to the skin now. So you see there before and after, the skin texture is intact, just minus all the flakes. And that's the Newborn Skin Pro Perfection. You also have Newborn Skin Pro Extreme. So if baby is very, very extreme, having an extreme reaction to the outside world there, that's only temporary, you can use that to remove. Clam, botchy and patchy skin, we don't need that for this image. Peely wrists and ankles, no, don't think we need that one. 
Skin retexture, you can use this one if you've had to go in heavy, for example, with the Skin Pro Extreme. You can use this just to bring some natural texture back into the skin. It's entirely up to you. You just simply click it and brush it over. You don't even have to click up here. It does it all for you. You only need to click up on your layers panel if you're switching between masks. Baby Soft, if you do want to add some additional softness to the skin, this action will do it for you. I'm creating a beautiful dewy softness uh, without, again, without looking plastic because we want to avoid that plastic fake looking skin that was very popular around 10 years ago. But now, you know, you really, really, it's important to keep that integrity of baby skin there. So this softness action will allow you to add that sweet, glowing, dewy softness to the skin without overdoing it, um, without, you know, degrading too much. Now we're onto the colour correction brushes. I'm going to play the, um, firstly up here on skin brushes, the red fingers and toes, because this is a skin action, specific skin. So I'm just going to paint that over these fingers, a little bit red there. Also great for feet and toes. So that just helps remove some of those reds um, that, that are just too red from your image. See there before and after, brings them back into the natural skin tone. We have Go Away Green Shadows, Purple Lift and Boost. I don't think I need to use any of those. I may use a little bit of the yellow remover just up round here, but only very lightly. And that's the great thing about having your brush settings to 100% opacity, um, but only 25% flow. It means you can just brush and brush until you're happy. We also have a warm up baby. Let me warm her up just a touch. Just dab that over a couple of times. So let's snapshot that and flatten. These snapshot and flattens appear throughout. Um, at times when I suggest it's a good time to snapshot and flatten your image. As for this flake here and all these little um, bits sticking out, we're going to deal with them in a little while when we get down to the manual editing section. For now, we're just focusing on the details. You don't need to panic about things like that because you can get halfway through your edit and then fix. So now we're on the gorgeous detail brushes. You don't really need to use the lift grey eye sockets or the eyelid smooth and tone. Sharpen the lashes and details. Yes, I'm going to use that one for this image. And if at any point you're editing and you think, oh, there's a red splotch or, oh, I missed that bit, you can just literally scroll up, find the section, skin retouch, colour correct, lighting, details, and you can just find the action that fits because I guarantee there is an action for every, every scenario in this set. Not all of them are going to apply to every edit, um, but you never know what you're going to get when you're shooting newborn. So this way you can really be prepared for every scenario and you know that you're going to be able to edit really very, very quickly. I'm going to play Honey Bright Skin Boost here and this just um, allows us to add a beautiful skin toning to the image and it kind of adds a uniform tone to the skin. I'm just going to take the opacity down a little just to bring that brightness back in there. Now we're onto the Select and Fix It and we're going to do a little bit of fixing with this image. Now naturally you'd crop in but because I want to show you Select and Fix, um, just I love to get it in there, <laughs> I'm going to use it for this, um, this image here. First of all you need to create a duplicate fixing layer. You can watch the full tutorial for Select and Fix. Um, this isn't the full tutorial, if you want to know how to use it you can. You draw around it with the patch tool and then you hit Select and Fix and it fixes any areas in your image for you. And because you're on the patch tool anyway, you can just drag and drop if you need to. Works out super fast. So I'm going to use that with the patch tool for these little areas here. Hold down shift and you can make more than one selection. So we have this little hair. So I'm just going to use select and fix just to get rid of these little bits that are kind of sticking up here. You can use it for extending backgrounds, you can use it for large areas, or you can use it for very, very small detailed areas. It's a little bit around the eye there as well. Much faster than frequency separation, than cloning, um, anything like that. So you just hit select and fix and it does it for you. So you can see there, you notice all these little bits of scrappy cotton. We just got rid of those very, very quickly. We don't need to use frequency separation for this image or remove flakes manual or the blanket fade um, or the blanket crease fix. We don't really need to use that for um, this image at all because it's going to be cropped in. 
I would recommend cropping at the beginning of your edit, but I just wanted to show you Select and Fix. I've just noticed there's a little bit of greyness um, around this area of the skin, so I'm going to jump back up to the colour correct and click on the grey skin booster. And I'm just going to lightly dab this in. But depending on the tones of your image, you may want to come in strong with this one or you may want to go mild. I'm just going to take that opacity down just a little bit there. So where were we? Coming past the manual section now into the finishing overlays. These overlays, you can um, take a snapshot and flatten and show you. You can play all of the overlays here, all of the finishes. This is going to create a host of layers for you that you can turn on or off um, depending on your image and you can see which one suits your shot. So these are just playing out now. They take a little while, they play hundreds of commands really very, very quickly. So you'll see this uh, little stop sign come up to just give, tell you to turn them on or off. So what do we have here? Sugar finish, comfort overlay, tulip matte, daffodil, little vintage, and all of these you can slide the opacity up or down and you can use a black brush um, on the layer mask to paint this off any areas you don't really wish it to show. And you can also mix and match. So for example, you may want a little bit of creamy matte, a small amount of dark and woody. You can kind of find your own signature look depending on your style. Oops, a little bit of that one. And we can remove any unused layers either by clicking the action at the top to delete unused layers or just selecting them and dragging them to trash. You can also pop these in a group if you want to and further change the opacity. Underneath here we have the black and white section. You can create a brand new image for black and white conversion so that there's no chance of saving over your original image. Um, and you can see here, let me just, where are we? Too many images open. So there's our original image there and it's made a copy of the here for black and white. So you can convert this image to black and white. I've just used the standard elegant black and white for this one. And I'm just going to use the dodge brush just to brighten up certain areas of this image and perhaps the burn brush to really darken down. You don't want, um, when you're doing black and white, you really don't want it to just be a grey boring image. You want to get rid of all kind of traces that the image was ever coloured in your mind so that your clients can literally see this beautiful black and white toned image. So you can use the dodge and the burn brushes or you can use the other, you've got different styles of black and white, divine mono, uh, the light, bright, opulent contrast, high key, simple matte, deep plush, rich mood. So you can choose which one of those, or you can mix and match, play them all, see which one suits your image. And then we have the one click final polish, bring up the lights, turn them down, subtle contrast, dramatic uh, vignette, you can sharpen, um, sliding the opacity. The Facebook resize, if you'd like to know how to use these properly, you can watch the overview video, the, the first video there, um, right at the end I show you how to use those. But basically, they will resize your image for Facebook without saving over your original. So they've opened this as a completely um, new copy of an image so that your original is not altered in any way, shape or form. And you can go ahead and save this for Facebook. Re it's already resized and sharpened and everything for you, you can go ahead, resize, um, not resize, go ahead and save it for Facebook um, and your original is still here untouched. So let's take a snapshot and flatten. And uh, let's see where we began with. So here's before and after. Use those snapshots and you can go back at any point and see your previous snapshots if you took them in so you can see there all these little bits were fixed this is a very basic edit for this one um she really didn't need very much work at all this beautiful baby but with lsp you can go in as strong or as gentle as you like you can just build these up to suit your image so you can go full fine art artistic edit or you can just do a very basic touch up entirely up to you so you can catch the rest of the video tutorials for the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop actions over on the website. There are so many actions in there. Um, if you have a specific area you wish to look at, for example, I don't know, the blanket fade, blanket crease, anything like that, you can look through the tutorials and find the right one for you. This is an overview, um, brief, fast edit using the LSP Signature Newborns. So I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.